Hello, and welcome to the Hand Waves newsletter vlog. My name is Steve Lobey. I'm Jason Goldstein. I'm Donna Cork. And I'm Tony Rupato. Chief Executive Officer of the NAD, National Association of the Deaf, Howard Rosenblum, visited Buffalo in May. During his day in Buffalo, Rosenblum toured the St. Mary's School for the Deaf campus and spoke to all students at an assembly. In the afternoon, Rosenblum visited DAS and took part in a roundtable discussion with DAS staff and board members to discuss hot topic issues surrounding the deaf community today. Staff members had the chance to ask Rosenblum questions and hear his view on issues related to employment, accessibility, interpreting, and advocacy. The visit was an outstanding chance for the deaf community in Western New York to learn more about NED and get a chance to meet a true leader in the deaf community around the country. Das was honored to spend the afternoon with Rosenblum, and we look forward to continued collaboration with NED. Deaf Adult Services is thrilled to announce a new partnership with Independent Living of Niagara County under the Western New York IL Families of Agencies. DAS is now providing community employment services in Niagara County, including work readiness evaluations, resume building, job search coaching, interview skills, networking, and job retention support. The partnership will provide a convenient location for much needed services throughout Niagara County. Appointments can be set up with myself or with our job developmenter, Lori Murray. She said, we are confident that the new venture of a collaboration with Independent Living of Niagara County and Deaf Adult Services will link the two counties in providing deaf employment services and more open opportunities for employers to reap the benefits of hiring deaf and hard of hearing individuals. The interpreting department has some exciting news about a new software system that will bring DOS into the 21st century. In July, DAS will be switching to a state-of-the-art interpreting service software that will give interpreters the ability to view and adjust their work calendars, confirm assignments, and bill for services, all in one easy-to-use location. Interpreters will need to set up user profiles with their information and passwords, which is done in a few simple steps. If you can't access the internet, DAS can set one up for you. Be on the lookout for a training session towards the end of July for those interested in learning the new system. On Friday, May 17th, DAS celebrated Staff Appreciation Day. The day included an interpreted Queen City downtown tour offered by Buffalo Tours and ended with lunch at Fat Bob's Smokehouse. It was a beautiful Buffalo day outside to explore and learn more about the city. The Abbey was a way to thank staff for a great year and to look forward to all that lies ahead for DAS during the coming year. A big thank you to our dedicated and hardworking staff for all that they do for the Western New York Deaf community. In early June, DAS staff began working with the People's Park outside of the Trimain Center. Staff members planted a garden that will be accessible to the community. The garden includes a variety of vegetables and flowers. Staff will maintain the garden throughout the summer. Check out our Facebook and Twitter pages in the coming months to see pictures of the garden in full bloom. Have you recently met a deaf family member, a friend, or a colleague wanting to communicate in ASL? Or have you always wanted to learn or get better at it? Deaf Adult Services is a great place to sign up for an ASL class. Check out our Fall 2013 lineup, which is inserted in the newsletter. There will be opportunities to meet many exciting people. ASL is one of the fastest growing languages in the United States. Our ASL program offers 15 week courses per level between beginner 1 and 2, intermediate 1 and 2, 
and advanced wanted to. The classes are tailored to build students' sign language experience. DAS uses, uses a cultural immersion curriculum with language lessons, information on community events, as well as presentations by exciting leaders of the Western New York deaf community. Januka Rai has taken on an important role in DAS's team of volunteers, first introduced to DAS staff member Jason Goldstein by Christine Lamanda, a case manager from Journey Zen Refugee Services. Januka was then introduced to a deaf Nepali man, where she facilitated Nepali Sign Language and spoken English through an ASL interpreter. The conversation was an amazing and captivating moment for everyone involved in the process, which used three different languages at the same time. Januka started working primarily with deaf Nepali and Bhutanese refugees, providing them the opportunity to build sign language communication and life skills while connecting them with the Buffalo deaf community. Since then, Januka has been an amazing source of warmth and support for many of our deaf refugees through the DAS ASL Literacy Program. Januka started her personal journey in Damak Java, a town of 35,000 people in southeastern Nepal, tucked away between the borders of India and China, and arrived here in Buffalo, New York, with her husband in May 2012. Her passion for teaching the deaf community grew from years of experience interacting and teaching deaf students at refugee camps in Nepal. In her spare time, she's studying English, computer training, and enjoying a cup of flavorful coffee. She's quoted as saying, I love working with my students. It has really been a great experience for me to connect them with American Sign Language and the services that are available at DOS. There are days when they teach me more than I teach them. Thank you, Chinooka, for all you do. As a small agency, we are always looking for creative ways to raise money for DOS. We challenged each board member to help raise money for DOS by filling up a bank with dollars for DOS. At our June 2013 meeting, we collected the banks and added up all the money. In change, our board was able to bring in about $300 in a short amount of time. The board member who raised the most money was Pamela Warren, bringing in close to $130. Change in dollar bills sure do add up. A big thank you to our board members for continuing to promote and support DOS in the community on a daily basis. We couldn't do what we do without a great grassroots board of directors. If you think your office would be interested in taking a Dollars for DOS bank to help us raise money, please contact Crystal at ksondel at WNYDAS.org or by calling 716-833-1637 extension 105. It's an easy and fun way to get back to DAS. Throughout the month of May, DAS offered a series of workshops that focused on employment and interviewing. The job club covered topics including employment related vocabulary words, how to answer the 10 most common interview questions, and the 10 most common interview questions to ask the interviewer, and how to request interpreter services for interviews. ASL videos on interview tips were also shown. Attendees enjoyed sharing their interviews and work experiences with each other. It was a great opportunity to support one another and an outstanding learning experience for all. Stay tuned to our next series of Job Club workshops. Our April Bead presentation brought in Dr. Michael McKee from Rochester. He gave a presentation called Men's Health, Staying Healthy. The presentation outlined many important health topics. Dr. McKee stayed afterwards to answer questions from participants as well. 
In May, Tony Brucato presented a workshop entitled 15 Eco-Friendly Tips. Participants learned many tips to help go green, including using recyclable bags instead of plastic, remembering to turn off lights at home, and ways to grow a garden. Thank you to our bead committee, Patty Tadek, Carolyn Cross, Jason Goldstein, myself, Linda Godzik, Steve Volby, and Crystal Sondell. Thank you for all your hard work. Our bead workshops will resume in September. Please keep an eye out for the flyer, which should be available in early August. We hope you will join us for the fall workshops. Buffalo Death Awareness Week, BDOT 2013, will take place from Sunday, September 22nd through Saturday, September 28th. The week will feature events including a kickoff celebration at the Walden Gallery and Mall, DOS Lunch and Learn ASL at the tri Main Center, the unveiling of History Hall, along with the 20-year celebration of DAS, 160th anniversary celebration of St. Mary's School for the Deaf, and an ASL interpreted tour of the Darwin Martin House. Contact the Buffalo Civic Association of the Deaf for more details. More events are being planned this summer. Stay tuned. This fall, DAS will be unveiling History Hall here inside the office. The hallway will consist of artifacts from the past 20 years, including information on the founders of DOS, past newsletters, pictures, and other DOS collectibles. DOS is looking for donations of items that are relevant to the agency's history. We need old newsletters, event programs, newspaper articles, and more. All donations can be dropped off at the DOS office during normal business hours or mailed in. In addition to donations of items, we are looking for monetary donations to help us complete the project. Donations can be sent to the DOS office, attention Crystal Sondell. All donors will be invited to join us for our unveiling ceremony in September during Deaf Awareness Week. More information on the event will be available soon. On Monday, July 15th, Dine out for DOS at Tully's on Niagara Falls Boulevard. You can dine out from open to close. You must present a coupon, which you can clip out from your newsletter, or find out more information on our website. Deaf Adult Services is growing. We are looking for American Sign Language interpreters to interpret medical and financial appointments, emergency room visits, classroom work, and judicial matters. Certified and non-certified interpreters will be considered. All interpreters are independent contractors with DOS. Pay scale is determined by certification and skill level. This spring, we were involved in many community outreach activities, including the SMSD Health Fair, DD Day at the Niagara Falls Convention Center, the ESAD Conference in Utica, New York, the Volunteer Fair at the Walden Galleria Mall, and the Rochester Deaf Festival. Thanks to all who stopped by to our tables to say hello. Thank you for joining us for our very first newsletter vlog. We will be back in September with another newsletter vlog. Have a great summer.